guys, I am back and today I'm going to be doing my next update to my Pan Those Eyeshadow Palettes series. So this is a very exciting update because I am going to be saying goodbye to a palette and rolling in a fresh palette um, just for the video today because it's the end of my third quarter of the year. So I'm going to be focusing on my last palette of 2022 for the rest of the year. I'm so excited. So without further ado, um, I was previously working on my Lorac Pro palette. I'm going to show what it was looking like last month. And then for recollections purposes, I wanted to remind you that I was panning these three shades. So mauve, champagne, and slate. Um, I frankly, I think I used mauve once, um, champagne maybe once, and then I think I used slate twice. I actually did, I wish I'd gotten a picture of it, a really cool look lining my lower lash line really aggressively with slate and smoking it out and then winging it slightly. So it was just this kind of like dramatic cat eye type look. I really loved it and slate was a good consistency for that kind of look. Um, I would honestly reach for it again if I was looking for like a cooler toned kind of dramatic eye. I really liked it for that purpose but I did have a hard time using slate as just like an everyday shade because it is so dark. So this is what my palette is currently looking like. We may have seen a little bit of expanse in either um, taupe um, I was trying to get cream used up. There's definitely progress on it. There's just the teeniest, tiniest sliver in that corner. Um, I was really hoping to use up cream and then hit pan on espresso. Fortunately, wasn't able to do either of those just because um, I've kind of reached a point of contentment with this palette in the sense that I feel like I've had it for a really long time. I got this. I had a, I had this palette, um, lost all of my makeup, uh, in late 2017, and then I got a new palette, this one, for Christmas 2017. So this is coming up on five years old, and you're starting to be able to tell. I feel like my eyeshadow just doesn't look as good at the end of the day as it does when I use other shadows. Um, I tend to... I have like kind of like hooded eyes and so I tend to get a lot of creasing especially in this area but usually with other shadows my the shadow that's like when my eyes are open the shadow still looks good and then when I close them fully you can see where the, like the creasing kind of happens. This one I just feel like my shadow almost looks barely there at the end of the day like you kind of can't really tell that I ever put on eyeshadow it just wears away a lot. So for me, I'm starting to think that maybe given the use that I have put in on this palette, it could be beneficial for me to let go of it at the end of the year. So I'm going to put this away for now, maybe revisit it in December or so, think about it, um, and maybe let this palette go. But either way, I will talk about it when I do my wrap up of this project at the end of the year. So. This is where we ended with this palette. I have almost one shade completely used up. Pans in one, two, three, four more shades. And honestly, I am very happy with the progress that I did see. And I am really happy that I brought this palette with me to Minnesota. I think it's a good everyday work palette. I think it is a great, beautiful everyday palette. And if you like this color story, then you'll enjoy it a ton. You'll get a ton of use out of it. They're good shadows. It just isn't unique in my current collection. So I just don't reach for it as much as I usually do as I would like to reach for my eyeshadows. So happy to be rolling this out and have seen such good progress on it. And then get those swatches off my hand. The last palette that I've selected for this year is my Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette. Um, if you don't know, this palette is no longer available. Tati Beauty closed down earlier this year. Rest in peace. Um, and this is what my palette is looking like right now. So 
the way this palette is set up is there's six like tones she calls them or six shades and then four different finishes so the black there's a matte a what she calls sequined which is like a matte base with this like kind of glitter as you can see when I tilt the palette different kind of flex light up and there's interesting kind of color mixes in the different sequin shades then there's a straight metallic and then there's a glitter so um i ha am going to start in the right upper left hand corner the way i usually do so memory glitter will be one and then i'll work across so it'll be one through six and then two or seven through 12, et cetera, et cetera. And then Matt Poet will be number 24. So that's how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to generate four shades this time because my main reason for putting this palette in the project is to give myself permission to use and love it. I adore this palette. Um, I used it twice this past weekend. I just have so much fun playing with it. So for me, I want to really like just like spend three months focusing on it like focusing more just as a way to use and enjoy the palette so I'm gonna go random integer between 1 and 24 I'm gonna generate four shades because I'm caring I if I hit a pan or two that would be really nice I'd be really happy but honestly I am just happy if I just use the palette so I'll pick four shades to focus on since I'm not as stressed about hitting pans in this palette so there there it is my shades are 10 16 9 and 20 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay that is the shade soothe metallic I'm gonna swatch nine right now while I'm right there, and that is Story Metallic. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm just doing like two swipes for each one. Um, then 16, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That is Soothe Sequin. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty is the shade ritual in the matte formula. Okay, we got a very brown color story. Here's what we're looking like. So this is Soothe, which is that like warm caramel tone in the metallic finish. This is Story in the metallic finish. It has some really beautiful sparkle to it. It flashes gold, but it has this like almost like peachy orange tone to it then we have soothe in the sequin finish as you can see there's that little bit of glitter as you move in the light and then we have ritual in the metal or the matte finish so these are the four like focus shades that i have for myself if i could see some good progress on those shades i'll be happy Mostly I am excited to play with these three and then I rolled a matte brown liner into my Partners in Cream Project pan so I'll mostly use this to set it, smoke it out, build up the out of corner, do things that I normally would do with this shade. None of these shades have any particular progress on them. The shades that I probably have the most progress I would say on are Soothe in the Matte Formula. And then Poet in the sequin formula because I've used it pretty heavily. Every time I've used it, I've used a lot of it. Um, and then other than that, the glitters have gotten a good amount of use. Like especially Soothe and Poet, I've reached into the glitters a good amount. So I'm excited to see where we go with this. Um, I'm thinking about doing a like kind of like multi-look review of this palette with dupes if that makes sense so like showing how I get looks with this palette and then ways that you could get the same looks with other palettes so that if you can't get your hands on this anymore you can kind of find alternatives because I do have some 
similar tones in my collection. So that's an idea for a video that I had using this since I get to play with it for the next few months and it is going to be featured a lot on my channel over the next three months. Other than that, I'm very excited to work on this color story and that is everything that I have for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me, for following me along as I paint all of these palettes. And if you like project painting, I will link all of my projects going on. I've organized them all into playlists for you. You can check those out in the description bar. And other than that, I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and that you come back to see where I am at with this palette next month. So that is everything. Have an awesome day, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.